hello again I just thought I'd do a little update on my son's pullover and the stranded knitting project and I've started another book band as well so I just thought I'd quickly show you them and then at the end of the video at like this little bit I've just been out and been for a walk and I filmed a little thank you video for that as well so I'll add that on after this bit but, oh let me show you look at that so the back piece is done and we measured it up against him and this comes down just part, just middle of his bum so he's going to grow into it a lot which is nice you might be able to hear the kettle in the background my husband's making me a cup of tea now I'm back from my walk and then I've started the bottom I was watching something on the telly and I did it a bit too tight so I had to undo it and do this bit again so I had to put it down because I was like I need to finish what I was watching on the telly so, so I didn't keep doing my stranded knitting too tight but yeah very pleased with that I've just joined a, a Facebook group called stranded knitting I think it's something like that all the th things that people are making amaze me first time in my life I've seen a stranded d double bed blanket like a bed cover in all different patterns and it's all knit in a straight line it's not little squares oh my goodness it was amazing there's something to aspire to but for now this will do me this is lovely right, I'll show you the book band so when I went to Cornwall with my husband I picked up four of these I think they're fancy feet yarns I haven't got the ball bands anymore my son likes taking them off so the ball bands don't last very long um yeah I picked up four and I only had three books and I needed to find another one and there wasn't any more in the shop that I liked and then I came back and where my daughter goes to rainbows the girl guides rainbows they have like a I don't know what you would call it it's a little section in in there and people donate books and then other people pay 20p to buy them and it raises money for the building and so I found this one 1940s Cornwall and I thought well that sounds perfect for my Cornwall collection and it's 1940s so that's perfect for me so that sounded like a good book so I paid 20p for that that was back in September and I haven't made the book band for it because I made all the other book bands when we were on holiday you see and I brought it home and I thought oh I hope it'll match and I think it does you know let me put the bit that I've done so far on and we'll see what you think there we go that's it so far and it has got green in this yarn as well so I think it picks it all up you know because this is almost like a, a deep pink and then the bright pink and then the blues for up here blonde for her hair and then when this green comes into it that'll be like the fields and her cardi won't it and the neck to here the neckerchief so yeah that's the other book band thank you very much <laughs> that's what i've been working on so far anyway I had a lovely evening i think it was last night over here by miss luna she keeps all of the needles that come free well that used to come free with the magazines that i bought get these yarn packs i'm just going to crinkle can you see it down there I used to get them with the magazine i bought and i had loads of needles i didn't know what to do with and i kept them and then they at rainbows my daughter always tells them how she knits and Obviously, it's pretty amazing, isn't it, <laughs> when you're four and you can knit. Oh, she's five now, but anyway. And they were saying that they'd like to be able to teach the other girls. And I said, oh, I've got some needles. So that was lovely. I sat through and sorted all the needles out and bundled them up. So I can take them down as well. Nice, isn't it, doing things like that? And how lovely to have a cup of tea to come home to. Anyway, I'll put the little video on now from our walk. Just on a walk with Mopsy at the moment. And I thought, I 
just say thank you to everyone for all the support. It's been lovely having all the comments and getting to meet like-minded people and hearing your stories and things like that. It's been absolutely lovely. And I had my first ever Kofi donation, which was wonderful as well. I've never had anything like that before, so that was good. Yeah, it was really kind and very much appreciated. Someone was having a birthday party. <laughs> Got a bit distracted, didn't you? I always think that when Mopsy walks, she walks like she thinks, I'm a good girl, I'm a good girl, I'm a good girl. Yeah, you do, don't you? <laughs> we just tied her fringe back up again. But you still can't see, can you, Mops? I've let her see her dinner, and she had a tiny little bit of her dinner. And then I've taken her out for a walk. And that way, I think she goes home better. Oh, lovely daffodils. Yeah, I think she walks home better. <laughs> She walks home more nicely for me because she thinks, oh, there's dinner waiting at home, better get back. At least that's what I hope she thinks. Oh dear. Right, let's cross this road. That's it, you did it, good job. I don't know if my phone's picking that up. That's the lovely blossom. And I always love this tree. It's a tree and a shrub together. Doesn't it look beautiful? Always reminds me of ice cream. With a double scoop. <laughs> it's nice having all the blossom out again. There's another lovely view for you. So that's our little walk, isn't it? So you can't go in the field yet. Because she's having her first season at the moment, so we can't take her in there. Because there's lots of dogs playing in there, so we have to keep away, don't we, darling? She doesn't understand why she can't go and say hello. She'll be alright. Do you agree? Do you think she walks like she says? No, you can't go in there, darling. She walks like she thinks, I'm a good girl, I'm a good girl. <laughs> I think it's the tail wag. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day and we're going to finish our walk before the sun goes down. It's very noisy now, isn't it? Everyone's coming home from work. So I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. And thank you again for all your support. Your kindness means a great deal to me. I love secret little paths like this. Just become a child again. I think that's something we should all do. Let our inner child take charge. Much more fun. The field was empty on the way back. So she got to have a run after all. <laughs> <laughs>